run as long as I could. I think I was still there with seven laps to go. I kind of was just holding on as long as I could before I started dying because I wanted to try and be as competitive as I can at the front end. So obviously the last few laps were hard, but um, I was happy the way I fought it out and obviously I'll take a lot of experience for it leading into 2020 next year. What did you thought when Jakob Ingevitz uh, go in the front in the last uh, stage? Uh, yeah, obviously I'm good mates with Jakob, I know how good he is. So I was kind of, you know when he goes to the front he's a real threat. Um, so obviously he ran a blind, I think he ran low 13 minutes. To, not to win a medal is pretty unlucky when you run that well, but obviously he's still young. I think he's going to be, he's probably the favourite for the 1500 in a couple of days. So I know he'll turn around and then, yeah, he'll be right up there again the 1500. Uh, and it shows that it's possible to your wife guys to beat the, the guys from Africa. Yeah, I think not only Jakob, but the three, uh, the two other Inkovitz and Philip, but Henrik have shown that. Obviously, in most of Diamond Leagues, you see those guys, they're right up there with all the East Africans. So I think, yeah, I think it's cool having some white guys up there being competitive. And I think um, we're all still pretty young, even Henrik's young. So I think um, over the next couple of years, we can try and even push it a bit far, further towards the top end with those guys. But yeah, I think it's pretty exciting times. Thank you and good luck. Awesome, thank you. Cheers.